Hey golfers, Dean with GolfAllYear.com, and I'm back. Uh, it's been a long while uh, since I actually posted a video. Um, I will do another video explaining that and what I'm going to do uh, from here on out. But uh, for today, um, this video is about the Orbit uh, launch monitor that OptiShot is um, promoting now. Um, and what happened was I was getting an email. I got an email. And I open it up, and inside the email, it said that the OptiShot Orbit Golf Simulator and Launch Monitor, actually it just said simulator, uh, was coming out uh, for $750. And so right away, it uh, kind of got my curiosity because last year, I had sent an email, a couple emails, uh, to OptiShot about the Orbit that was going to be coming out last year. Um, there's a video that I put out last year about the Orbit coming out and some questions I had about it. I'll put that link down uh, down below. Uh, but that old Orbit uh, was basically a OptiShot with more sensors. And so I had a lot of questions about what they were tracking and, and why the price was so high. Um, I emailed them and I found out that uh, they actually took that uh, product off their website. And so I asked them why they took it off. They said they had some pre-orders, but they were having some software issues. They were hoping to get those pre-orders out by the end of the year. Um, didn't hear anything, didn't see anything until now. And so now they've come out with this new OptiShot, uh, which is a simulator and launch monitor and totally different, um, totally different. So I wanted to talk about it, uh, talk about my first impressions. These are kind of just my impressions. I don't have the uh, OptiShot launch monitor yet. Um, I probably won't get it, uh, but I want to kind of uh, do a little first impression of what, what I see and what I've noticed uh, with the OptiShot launch monitor and what they're coming out with. So let's start with uh, some of the cool things that they are actually doing with this. So this is going to be a launch monitor and simulator. Uh, it is portable, which if you know from the OptiShot 2, the OptiShot 2, uh, you had the mat and the sensors, and so you couldn't take it outside. And the lighting was very, you know, you had to really make sure the lighting was correct on the OptiShot 2. I've done a lot of videos on that. Check it out uh, if you're interested in the OptiShot 2. Uh, this is actually uh, supposed to be a launch monitor that is very similar to the launch monitors out there in terms of you can take it outside, you can use it also inside, okay? Uh, what you can do with it inside is you can actually hook it up to your computer and it will actually be a simulator also. So that's where you can play courses and you can do all kinds of uh, uh, different um, things with it online. You can have a bunch of different players play. Um, I mean, not online, but on your computer. And you can uh, basically use it as a simulator inside. Now, when you take it outside, uh, what you will do is you'll use it more as a launch monitor. You'll have to use an app, uh, an other app on your iPhone, to get all the stats and to keep track of all the stuff. So inside they're using what is called their Orion um, software, which I'll talk about in a minute. Uh, outside you're using uh, my Swing Caddy app, and I'll talk about that also in a minute. So that's kind of what it is. It's kind of portable inside, outside, which OptiShot 2 couldn't do. And so that's, that's kind of a cool thing. It kind of ties in with a lot of the other launch monitors out there. Um, now, it also will track a lot of your stats. So it's going to track, and I want to read off here some of them, uh, it's going to track club and ball speed. It's going to uh, la uh, track launch angle and direction, smash factor, which is a big one, uh, spin rate, apex height, and carry distance. So those are things it's going to track. Um, so it does a lot of the launch monitor um, things that, that a lot of the different uh, launch monitors do. Okay, and so they track a lot of those things. Um, and so with that, you're going to be able to play it indoors um, and play a bunch of courses, uh, virtual courses, uh, similar to the OptiShot and get all your stats and things like that. And then outdoors, you kind of use it as a launch monitor and use the app um, and so forth. And, and, you know, I have the Garmin R10 now, and it's, it, that's similar to, to the Garmin R10. I can use the Garmin R10 inside. Uh, I can use it outside. Um, I can do both inside and outside, and I'll talk about that uh, as we go but um, use it in terms of simulator inside and outside. Uh, but that is kind of what launch monitors are doing. Okay, so now 
let's get into my questions. And this is why I'm kind of doing this video because um, it, it, it is kind of, uh, to me, um, very deceptive. Because as I'm researching this launch monitor, um, I'm scrolling through different launch monitors. And I have the Swing Caddy, the old Swing Caddy uh, 200. And so I searched up uh, the new Swing Caddy. It's the SC4. And I'd, I'd love to have you take a moment and go and search up the SC4. So what I think is, has, has happened here is that OptiShot wanted to get away from the, the mat and the sensors and uh, went to the launch monitor, but I think they're buying them whole. But the Orion software is being used with the Swing Caddy launch monitor. So you can buy a Swing Caddy launch monitor uh, for, you know, 500 and some $500 or so. Um, but OptiShot is offering that Orbit, uh, Orion, I guess, Orion software to it so you can play indoors and play the courses that they have indoors and they're charging 200 and some odd more dollars. Um, in reality, you could do E6 the same way. You could buy the Swing Caddy S4, uh, the S4 Swing Caddy, or S, uh, C Swing Caddy uh, 4, and basically get the subscription to E6 for like $300 and you'll have a much better uh, simulator. And so it, it kind of, kind of was a little deceptive. And then when I went and checked on the Orion software, the video that they show is for the ball flight, the $6,000. I think it's like $6,000 or something, some crazy amount. Um, the ball flight that they have uh, simulated. And so is that the same software that they have on their, I mean, the same one? And if it is, why why are they putting it on the, this launch bar? I, I just don't get that. Uh, so maybe some of you can help me out with, with why that would be. Um, I assume that, uh, they're tied with, with Swing Caddy. So with that, a couple of the other things that I noticed that I just don't like about this launch monitor, um, the app, um, the app, this My Swing Caddy app has really, really poor reviews. If you go and look um, on their, their app, <laughs> on the app itself, and if you go to YouTube and search it up, <clears throat> the reviews for the My Swing Caddy app are really, really poor. And so I worry about that also. I, I, I think I'd rather... Uh, be using the Garmin and, and know that I have a, a product that um, is well respected and things like that than I would using my Swing Caddy app. Um, so, not, just not sure on that. Uh, the graphics seem to be the same as they were with the OptiShot. I don't know how much they improved. I think the graphics on the E6, if you wanted to get the Swing Caddy uh, launch monitor and you can you can get a subscription to um, and use it uh, E6 on your computer. Um, I think that's a much better deal and a much better graphics uh, for what you get. Um, so I would look into that more than I would uh, the OptiShot. Um, you also now need to buy a mat, so you got to add that into your costs. Uh, so you know you're talking 150 to 250 dollars. So you know you're going to actually have more expenses. Uh, with it because it doesn't come with a mat, doesn't come with the sensors like the other ones. Now, most launch monitors don't, so you do have to uh, work that in. Um, it doesn't track uh, spin axis, which, uh, you know, a couple, I saw a couple comments that people were concerned that it doesn't track the spin axis, which is kind of the, the left and right. So how does it really know um, on that? Um, so I have a lot of questions. Um, I emailed him some of the, my questions. Um, you know, and, and support got back to me and, and kind of explained some of the stuff. For example, that you can't use the simulator. You got to have your computer to use the simulator piece. Um, so if you take it outside, either you bring your computer with you uh, and do it that way, or you are using it just as a launch monitor and using that my Swing Caddy app. So uh, those were some things that, you know, just concerned me about this new Orbit launch monitor. Uh, it's the most expensive one out there in terms of, I think, what it, provides um you know garmin r10 they got the you got the rhapsodo um you could actually do the just the swing caddy and, and do e6 uh are all will all probably be uh less expensive or just as expensive as the new um orbit uh which they're calling the orbit but it's really just swing caddy 
So you tell me, I don't know. Um, I'm really concerned. I'm not going to buy it. Um, if somebody gets it, please let me know how you, how you, what you think of it. I don't know anything on the accuracy. Maybe the accuracy is right on. Um, you know, I, I don't have any idea on that. Um, you know, but let me know what you think. Um, hope it, I hope it works out for everybody. If you, if you do purchase or you're in the pre-order, uh, situation where you get a little cheaper, uh, but I'm not paying 700 and so, you know, $50 plus for, uh, this, this launch monitor. So anyway, I will have another video coming out. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll have another video coming out. I'm going to get back into doing some videos. I know I've been gone a, a long time. Um, I've kind of moved on to the Garmin R10 and that's part of the reason I'm going to have a video explaining, you know, what went on, why I took some time off, uh, and where I'm going from here. And, you know, I think it's going to be kind of exciting. Hope you follow me because, you know, I'm, I'm really going to try to get better and, and improve my golf game uh, using budget, uh, my, you know, my budget, uh, our uh, Garmin R10 uh, and different uh, launch monitors and things like that. So uh, follow along, see what we do, and, and I hope to see you in the future.